All right, so you want to transition from field cells to telecells. It's a super popular topic right now that I need to talk about because a lot of people are reaching out, asking a ton of questions constantly. So stay with me, watch through this entire video, about 10, 11, 12 minutes on specifically what you can do to make money today, now, coming from field cells straight to telecells. So I'm going to walk through several different steps of what you need to think about and what you should do. Also, in the description below, you'll see a new Telesales Mastery membership. It's already got over 100 members that you can actually go in the description and click to join right away, okay? And it's got tons of videos, scripts, everything else, recordings of sales that you need to listen to to actually accomplish this even better, all right? So I'm gonna go through a few steps that you need to immediately use, all right? So just like when you were working the field, you still need lead flow, okay? So very similar. You need lead flow to actually take you from, because I mean, it, lead flow works for you in the field, right? True or false? It worked for you in the field. If it worked for you in the field, it can work for you in phone sales as well and tell sales as well. So if you had a lead flow in the field, you need a lead flow again, all right? So you need a lead flow. And maybe the lead flow is different. Maybe it's not the exact same. Maybe it's more digital marketing, internet leads, etc. However, you need lead flow. You need it consistently. We've got discounts on live leads, live transfers, and marketing services, discounts on all that in our membership. Again, in the description, the link is below. Okay, so lead flow. After lead flow, after lead flow, you need, you need some way to actually dial them. And the reason I bring that up, and we're, put, we're adding some di dial, dialer discounts to the membership as well, but the reason I bring that up is the big thing is you don't have to actually use a dialer if you don't want to. You can still dial by hand with your cell phone if that's what you would like to do. You can easily do it that way. Most people don't realize that's the case. I mean, I personally know call centers that I'm friends with that will have a couple agents this month that'll do 40, 50 grand this month from simply hand dialing leads, okay? So you can 100% do that, all right? When you're dialing them, the goal and the point is that you actually need to, you need to actually get a hold of them, okay? You need to actually get a hold of them. You need to talk to them. They need to answer the phone. And so, yeah, you can be persistent by actually following up and following my follow-up process when it comes to actually calling leads. Whether that be, right, because I always recommend six calls in 72 hours. I also recommend a 12 touch process, which I've went over before and went over quite a bit. Most of you probably know what I'm talking about. Okay, I've got 1,500, 2,000 videos on here, okay, on YouTube. Also, you, you can actually get to where you can, you know, you can change your phone number so that you can actually dial from a different number. You could also get to where you even double or triple dial, that's where you dial goes to voicemail, they don't answer, you immediately dial back. That can increase your answer rate, all right? You get a hold of them. The fourth one, just like with field, okay, just like with field, you want to establish control and then qualify them, right? So you want to establish control. This is the entire process, right, from, from going from field sales straight into phone sales and selling over the phone, okay? So control and qualify. That means within the first, within the first three minutes, you need to actually establish control, get a hold of them, and then pre-qualify them in or out so that you can continue to talk to them. Most people forget this piece. It's important. I got a ton of videos on this in the membership as well. Okay, so make sure you check that out. Uh, again, controlling and qualify because most people don't realize you got to get in control. When you're calling someone and you're getting them on the phone, I forgot to pull this out earlier. When you're getting them on the phone, you got to immediately, immediately establish control. If you're not in control, they're in control, okay? What's unique about asking questions is when I ask you a question, it's human nature to do what? It's human nature to ask it, which is why insurance agents that are using the phone should ask a lot more questions along the way. Okay, so not only should you ask questions, not only should you try to get in control immediately, but you should do everything that you can to get their attention. Most people don't realize, and Harvard, Harvard says five seconds, the first five seconds are important. I know that the first 60 seconds, five seconds, 60 seconds, and three minutes are always super important when you're talking about getting a hold of someone, establishing control, and then qualifying them, whether that be 
depending on the product, you may be qualifying them for what they currently have, the, the, their current health situation, and making sure that they, if, if, you're only, if you're only selling people to have a bank account and you don't want Direct Express or Direct Bill or any of those other things, and you only want to pay for credit cards, you only want to work with people to have a checking account, which a lot of call centers work that way, that's good, that's great, but you don't want to spend 45 minutes with them if they don't have one, right? So you want to qualify them out. That's important. That's kind of common sense, but most people don't realize that because they're used to filled cells, right? So this is normal. I'm with you, okay? Control and qualify. All right, the next thing is after that, you know, you need to simply build rapport, build rapport, fact find, and then present and close, right? So this is the whole gamut to where you literally take some time and just like just like face-to-face -face sales or filled cells, you've got to be able to get to where I should have not had so much spacing up here. I'm running out of space on the bottom of the board. I, I, that's, that happens to me a lot. Okay, so, so get to where you're building rapport, you're fact finding, you're building value, you're, 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 you're pre-closing or trial closing, you're presenting value, benefits, all that, product carrier, et cetera, you, yourself, and then you're closing, you know, and then you're offering options and you're asking for the business. I go, I go in on this extensively in our membership and we're continuing to add things to that membership every single day. Again, the link's in the bio below. Okay, so if you think about field to telesales, your current model, what you're currently doing this doesn't differ that much. Because if you think about it real quick, okay, you, you, you're used to lead flow. You're used to dialing them. You're used to getting a hold of them. But you're used to the next step being actually setting an appointment to go out and sit with them. But when you sit with them, it ain't that much difference. Okay, when you sit with them, you're building rapport. Now, this is maybe a, this is different, right? But when you, when you do sit with them, you're building rapport. You're fact-finding. You're presenting and you're closing. So you're doing the same thing, but you're doing it over the phone, but you're typically slowing down because the average sell, okay? I mean, think about what your average sell is for field. It's probably, what, 45 to 60 minutes, sometimes 90 minutes or two hours, right? Sometimes longer, okay? There's no different, right? Telesales, your average sell should be 45 to 60 minutes. It's going to take some time, you know? And, and when you do that, it's not going to be an immediate sell. Most people jump from field to phone thinking, okay, because I've got this thing and I can qualify quicker and I can ask questions, I can be direct and I can ask if they want to buy, we end up thinking it's going to be quicker and simpler and easier. In fact, actually getting them to buy on the phone is a little harder than face-to-face, -face, naturally, okay, because they got to know, like, and trust you and they may not know, like, and trust you because they don't know you yet, okay, so that's where building rapport and taking some time is big because, again, they need to know like and trust okay for them to pull the trigger on whatever options you present most agents are forgetting that not only is it tougher but it, it it's not quicker because you've got to establish all these things on the phone that you're used to doing in a home that you haven't done yet over the phone okay so think through that right lead flow consistently we talk about lead flow again you're going to need i mean when agents are calling leads they're probably averaging you know, 5% closing rate for those that are curious, you know, so it's going to take some leads, right? If you want five deals, you're going to have to, you know, if you may have to work age leads and a combination of aged and new leads. I recommend that. Okay. Because you want to, you want to talk, you want to have about, as far as getting a hold of them, you want to have about eight good convos per day. You know, you would have about eight good conversations per day. Presentations, what we call it. To where, okay, I, I qualified them out and I'm having a decent conversation with them. And you want that to, to, ha to happen about um, about a third, about 20 to 30% of the time of people that you get a hold of. Okay, and that's normal, that's natural. Okay, so when you dial them, get a hold of them, all right? Persistence, most insurance, there's stats that say that most insurance agents do not dial more than zero, one, or two times on a new lead. But studies tell us that when you go six calls, you have a 90% chance of contact. Studies tell us if you use different phone numbers, it helps. Studies tell us if you dial different times of the day, it helps. Studies tell us if you actually try versus those that don't, you're gonna see better results. Funny how that works, right? It isn't rocket science. Most insurance agents are lazy. That's why, that's a big reason why 92% of insurance agents fail. Okay, but there's more millionaires in this industry than any other industry in the world, so it's phenomenal. You're in the right place, you're in the right vehicle. Okay, from field sales to telesales, lead flow, dial them, get a hold of them, control and qualify, and then go through the normal appointment process. Okay, now if you're like, this is overwhelming, I don't know what to do, there's a lot of information, and I would like to have access to resources. 
scripts, audio recordings, video library, training, technology, leads and marketing, discounts, wh where to buy live transfers, um, all the process for FE, all the process for Medicare, all the process for all the products, uh, carriers I should use, and information about that. You know, and I want a strategy call with Cody, right? Members get those things, all right? So I got a new Telesales Mastery membership. Check out the description below, click the link, and join the membership today. I wanna help you, and I want you to join that thing. Thanks for watching, Phil Detella. Hey, if you like this video, do me a favor, go to that video right there. It's over two hours, it was a free webinar I did. You're gonna love that video, how to sell life insurance over the phone from home. Go there, and I'll see you there. Our industry is saving lives, it's helping people, it's doing the right thing, and people need our help right now more than ever, which is, which what that means is,